so how did I get this in the ocean? Well, it's simple. I spawned a golf cart, and I drove right in. In a recent video, I showed you how to disable the ocean, walk right in, and build what you want. And I'll have a link to that video in the description, as well as a card at the top of the channel. But what we wanted to do here was the complete opposite. We wanted to take that game object and add a box collider component on it, which would allow us to drive on the ocean. Hell yeah, this is awesome. It even let me walk on the water. But don't think about building anything. That's out of question. I did spawn Calvin and... Just like everything I put this dude through, it was pretty comical. But let's not lose focus. I opened up my golf cart game object. And then I looked for the yacht. The yacht. The yacht. How do you spell this? Once that's opened, I went ahead and made a copy of it. And this is a huge, huge game object. I have no idea why that little yacht has to take up so much room. But we took this copy and we changed its rotation and noticed that it pushed it way back here. So the next thing I had to do was align it up close to my golf cart so that I could sync these two game objects. Once it was close, I just went ahead and drove my golf cart underneath it and got an even tighter position. Once I was satisfied with my results, I opened back up the Explorer and fine-tuned the position of the yacht. One issue I did run into is that the collision of the yacht and the collision of the golf cart were starting to mesh, so I just turned the collision off for the yacht. From there, it's pretty simple to line things up. Next thing I did was took the name of the golf cart and made it the parent of the yacht. From here, I just got inside of the golf cart like normal. Turned on my free camera. And I was instantly able to drive this thing around. If we want to get a better experience, we can open up the free camera's game object and simply make it a child of the yacht. Make sure you turn off the free camera controller so that we can no longer move the camera position with the mouse and keyboard. You can always come back and fine tune the position. Every single time I ran into this issue where the yacht would disappear, but it had a pretty easy fix, because all we had to do was re-enable the yacht renderable. If you don't like that you can see the golf cart, go back to that game object. And go ahead and turn off renderables and the power. And there you have it. This thing's ready to roll. And again, you can get any position you want on that camera. Have fun with it. I'm going to bring it to the daylight and just drive around for a little bit. This thing's pretty wobbly. Here we go. Something I can pillage. 
And if you want to get the full experience out of this yacht, when you find a location to settle at, you can remove the golf cart as the parent. You can also turn off your free camera. And re-enable the collision of the yacht. Make sure you disable the golf cart, that way it doesn't fling and fly around. And now you can use that yacht in position as if it was yours. If you want to get the full immersion, you can go ahead and remove that box collider off the ocean zone. We're on the land, grab what gear you need to grab and move on. When you're ready to return, you can do a couple of things here, since the ladder doesn't really work. For starts, you can lower or raise the position of the yacht, and this might help you out, but if it doesn't, You can go back to the ocean zone and just add another box collider. That'll let you walk in the water again. And you can do most things you want inside of this yacht. To get it driving again, go ahead and make the parent of the yacht the golf cart. And don't forget that we disabled it earlier. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you re-enable the golf cart. You may have to disable some of the props but you'll be back to driving in no time. Turn your free camera back on. Get it in position. Find the game object. And after you disable the free camera controller, Make it a child item with the yacht again. And there you have it. You're back in the high seas. As always, thank you for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. And I'm going to go ahead and just throw up a speedrun montage of the yacht uh, going fully around the island. Or at least most of it. Later.